Greetings and welcome back to Gods, Myths, and Legends, where we bring you immersive tales from the mystical realm. Today, we're exploring the verdant fields and golden wheat crops of ancient Greece. Tracing the footprints of a divine figure who brought agricultural prosperity to humanity and shaped our understanding of life, nature, and the mysteries of the underworld. Her name is Demeter, the goddess of agriculture, fertility, and the sacred laws of life and death. From the dramatic abduction of her daughter Persephone to the sacred Eleusinian mysteries, Demeter's legacy embodies the cycles of life and nature, death and rebirth, sorrow and joy. So, sit back, relax, and prepare to journey back through millennia with us as we delve into the world of the beloved Earth Mother, Demeter. Let's get started. Demeter is an ancient Greek goddess who is primarily associated with agriculture, fertility, and the harvest. She is the daughter of the titans Cronus and Rhea and is considered one of the twelve Olympian gods and goddesses. Demeter is often depicted as a mature woman who is both nurturing and strong, conveying the dual aspects of her role as a mother and an earth goddess. She is the mother of Persephone, the queen of the underworld, who was abducted by Hades. According to the story, Hades, the god of the underworld, fell in love with Persephone and kidnapped her to be his bride. Demeter was heartbroken and began an unrelenting search for her missing daughter, causing the earth to become barren and unproductive as she neglected her duties. Eventually, Zeus, the king of the gods, intervened and ordered Hades to return Persephone. But, before she was released, Persephone was tricked into eating pomegranate seeds, which bound her to the underworld for a portion of each year. This myth serves as an explanation for the changing seasons. When Persephone is with her mother, Demeter is happy, and the earth is fertile and abundant like spring and summer. When Persephone is with Hades, Demeter mourns her loss, and the earth becomes cold and barren like autumn and winter. Demeter was widely worshipped throughout ancient Greece, and her major festival, the Thesmophoria, was held annually in honor of her role in the agricultural cycle. Women would gather and participate in rituals and sacrifices to ensure a successful harvest and to thank Demeter for her gifts. One of the most important sanctuaries dedicated to her was the Eleusinian Mysteries, which were secret religious rites held in the city of Eleusis. The rituals and ceremonies of the Eleusinian Mysteries revolved around the myth of Demeter and Persephone. Initiates would participate in these rites to secure a more favorable afterlife, as Demeter's association with the earth and the cycle of life and death meant she also held influence over the afterlife. Participants swore oaths of secrecy and very little is known about the specific details of these rites. In Roman mythology, Demeter was closely associated with the goddess, Ceres, who also governed agriculture and fertility. Similar to Demeter, Ceres was an important and revered goddess in Roman society, and her name has become the root of the English word cereal, reflecting the importance of grain in ancient agriculture. Demeter is often depicted carrying a torch, a symbol of her tireless search for Persephone, as well as sheaves of wheat or a cornucopia, illustrating her bountiful and nurturing nature. Sometimes, she is portrayed alongside poppies, which were associated with fertility in ancient Greece. As a second-generation Olympian, Demeter's siblings include Zeus, Hera, Hades, Poseidon, and Hestia. Her parents are the titans Cronus and Rhea. Among her many children, Persephone is the most well-known. Her other children included Plutus, the god of wealth, and Despoina, a mysterious goddess whose true name was never revealed to outsiders. Apart from her brother Kin, Demeter had a relationship with mortal Iasian, which resulted in the birth of Plutus. Their union took place in a field, further solidifying Demeter's connection to agriculture and fertility. Demeter was particularly popular in rural areas, where she was regarded as a protector of agriculture and provider of life. Sanctuaries dedicated to Demeter have been found throughout ancient Greece, including such cities as Eleusis, Athens, Megara, Hermion, and Corinth. The Eleusinian mysteries, held at the sanctuary of Eleusis, were particularly significant. These secret initiation rites were widely regarded as the pinnacle of Greek religious experience and conferred a sense of spiritual fulfillment to those who participated. 
The two-part initiation process involved the lesser mysteries at the nearby river Alyssos and the greater mysteries at Eleusis, in which a sacred catabasis or journey to the underworld was performed by initiates. Demeter played a vital role in ancient Greek life, with her influence visible in various spheres. These include agriculture, fertility, seasons, and the afterlife. Let's dive a little deeper to get a greater understanding about these subjects. Chapter 1. Agriculture Demeter dictates the prosperity and abundance of harvests and is responsible for feeding the Earth's population. Her role in agriculture encompasses divine invention, protection, and the maintenance of bounty. According to Greek mythology, Demeter is credited for teaching mankind the art of agriculture and the cultivation of crops. She is believed to have introduced the secrets of plowing, sowing, and harvesting to humanity, providing them with the knowledge necessary to settle and develop civilizations. Even as tools for farming, such as a plow or a sickle, are also attributed to her. By nurturing the fields and blessing the harvests, Demeter ensured the growth and sustenance of the world's population, solidifying her role as an essential deity. Demeter also played a crucial role in the cycle of planting, growth, and harvesting throughout the year. Her influence was believed to manifest in the crops themselves, which depended on her favor and care. The ancient Greeks cultivated wheat, barley, olives, grapes, and a variety of fruits and vegetables, hoping to ensure their survival during leaner months. In honor of Demeter, the ancient Greeks participated in several festivals and rituals, seeking her blessings and protection for their crops. The annual festival of Thesmophoria was held to ensure a successful harvest and agricultural abundance, involving fasting, feasting, and sacrifices. Celebrated by married women, the Thesmophoria served as a means to honor both Demeter and Persephone and preserve the secrets of fertility and growth. The Eleusinian Mysteries, as mentioned earlier, also incorporated elements of agriculture. The month-long celebration of the Greater Mysteries at Eleusis and the previously discussed Thesmophoria were both held during critical times in the agricultural calendar, planting and harvesting. Chapter 2. Fertility Demeter's association with fertility in ancient Greek culture cannot be understated. As the goddess of agriculture and the harvest, Demeter naturally became linked with the concept of fertility and abundance, a connection which extended beyond crops and the earth to encompass human fertility as well. Demeter is closely tied to symbols that represent fertility and abundance. For example, the cornucopia, also known as the horn of plenty, filled with fruits, vegetables, and grains is an iconic representation of Demeter's nurturing nature and her gifts of fertility. Poppies, a flower that often grows among wheat and barley, also connect to Demeter and symbolize fertility and fecundity in Greek culture. In one of her myths, Demeter has a liaison with the mortal hero Iasian during a wedding feast. The union, which takes place in a plowed field, represents the union of the earth goddess with the masculine, reproductive force necessary for fertility. As a result of this union, Demeter gives birth to Plutus, the god of wealth and abundance, highlighting her role in human fertility through the association with the birth of a deity. Demeter and her daughter Persephone were often invoked during rites of passage for young girls transitioning into womanhood and marriage to ensure future fertility. Married women would also pray to Demeter for successful pregnancies and safe childbirth. The Thesmophoria, an annual festival mentioned earlier, was primarily attended by married Athenian women. The festival aimed to promote human fertility, ensure successful harvests, and honor the role of Demeter and Persephone in the life cycle. The rituals of the Thesmophoria were closely guarded secrets, and men were forbidden to participate or even observe the ceremonies. Chapter 3. Seasons Demeter's role in the changing seasons is a significant aspect of her mythology and stands as a reflection of the ancient Greeks' understanding of the natural world. They believed that the cycle of the seasons was heavily influenced by Demeter's emotions, which were intrinsically linked with the abduction and return of her daughter, Persephone. The myth of Persephone's abduction not only explains why there are periods of abundance and periods of scarcity but also highlights the grieving process and the renewal of hope. When Zeus intervened and ordered Hades to release Persephone, she had eaten pomegranate seeds while in the underworld. Because of that, 
she is bound to Hades for a portion of each year. Thus, a compromise is reached wherein Persephone will spend part of the year in the underworld and part of the year with Demeter. When Persephone returns to the world of the living, Demeter's joy results in renewed fertility in the earth, symbolizing the arrival of spring and summer. These months mark the time when plants and flowers begin to grow, and the world is warm and bountiful. The role of Demeter in ancient Greek life is deeply intertwined with the understanding of the passage of time and the cycle of the seasons. Recognizing the growing and harvesting seasons as essential aspects of life allowed the population to align their agricultural and societal practices with the natural world. The myth of Demeter and Persephone, with their connection to the changing seasons, highlights how ancient Greek society sought explanations for the natural cycles of growth, death, and renewal. Numerous festivals and rituals were timed around crucial moments in the agricultural cycle, such as planting, harvesting, and storing grains. The previously mentioned Thesmophoria festival, for instance, typically took place during the month of Pionepsion, roughly corresponding with October, and was strategically timed to coincide with the sowing of winter crops. By celebrating Demeter and seeking her favor during these crucial times, the ancient Greeks sought to ensure a successful harvest and express gratitude for the abundance provided by the goddess. Chapter 4 Afterlife Demeter's influence over the afterlife may be less apparent than her more prominent roles in agriculture, fertility, and seasons. Yet, she plays an important part in informing ancient Greek beliefs and practices related to life after death. This connection is most strongly established through her association with the Eleusinian Mysteries, secret religious rites held in her honor at the ancient sanctuary of Eleusis. The Eleusinian Mysteries were sacred initiation ceremonies that took place over approximately 2,000 years, from around 1600 BCE to the late 4th century CE. Initiates were sworn to secrecy and very little is known about the specific details of the rites. However, it is believed that the central theme of the mysteries was the story of Demeter and Persephone, as their myth sheds light on the concepts of life, death, and rebirth. The initiation process consisted of two main parts, the Lesser Mysteries and the Greater Mysteries. The Lesser Mysteries were held in the month of Anthesterion, February-March, at the River Alyssos, while the Greater Mysteries took place in the month of Bodromion, September-October, at the Sanctuary of Eleusis, near Athens. The central message of the Eleusinian Mysteries was the idea of hope and rebirth in the afterlife. The myth of Persephone's abduction provided an allegory for the cycle of life and death, as her annual journey between the underworld and the earth symbolized the process of renewal and regeneration. By participating in the Eleusinian Mysteries, initiates aimed to secure a more favorable afterlife. Ancient Greeks believed that Demeter's connection to the earth, the cycle of life, and her role in the myth of Persephone granted her power over the realm of the dead. In achieving a deep spiritual understanding and connection with Demeter and her mysteries, initiates hoped to overcome the fear of death and attain eternal life or at least a more pleasant existence in the afterlife. These rituals brought together people from different social classes, genders, and cultures since the mysteries were open to all Greek-speaking people who had not committed murder or other heinous crimes. This inclusivity further established the importance of Demeter and her role in the afterlife, providing a shared experience that served as a unifying force among the Greek population. While ancient Greek mythology, including the story of the goddess Demeter, may seem far removed from our modern lives, we can still draw numerous insights from these age-old tales. They remind us of the importance of agriculture, urge us to respect and understand the natural rhythms of the earth, offer comforting perspectives of the afterlife, and celebrate fertility in a multitude of forms. The myth of Demeter can serve as a source of inspiration for sustainable agricultural practices, ecological balance, personal growth, and creative fertility. From the flourishing fields to the capricious seasons, from the mysteries of the afterlife to the miracles of fertility, Demeter's narrative has led us on quite an adventure today. Her story continues to remind us of the vital bond between humanity and the natural world, urging us to respect and protect the resources we rely upon. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of Demeter as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. If you've learned something new, leave us a comment, go ahead and hit that like button, 
and remember to share our adventure with friends who might enjoy it. Stay curious as we bring you more exciting stories from the gods, myths, and legends. Until our next video.